Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and we are doing our lettering monthly Let's Make Art Matter. So if you're new here, what Let's Make Art Matter is, is every month we come together as a community and make art postcards for someone that we don't know but that was nominated who may be going through a tougher time than we are today. So today we are making a postcard for Winter. Her sister nominated her and she is a cool girl who is beautiful. Her name's Winter, and it is Winter. Which is so great. <laughs> yeah, you have a great name, Winter. And so she was born with Down syndrome, and so her sister was explaining to me that she has been through things as a child that you would can imagine that people would go through having being born a little bit different. And so we, or she was explaining that, or I'm gonna read what she wrote so that I'm not saying it wrong. She said, Winter struggles to find her place as an adult. She would be a social butterfly if the world would allow it. Winter spends much of her time drawing and writing in her diary, and I thought it'd be perfect to flood her with a bunch of handwritten notes. And so when I saw a social butterfly, I thought it'd be perfect to draw a butterfly. She also, I've been emailing her sister, and she said that she loves to be told that she's beautiful. And so I wanted to combine all those things with her favorite color, purple, and the butterfly, and the quote, you're beautiful. So feel free to either follow along or make something else. Or also I wanna say thank you to those who, of you who have already sent it out. Her sister emailed me some pictures of winter, so smiley, Keenan and I were looking before, and it was really sweet. So you guys are making a difference, and that's what this whole thing is about. So I'm gonna show you guys a pretty simple way to just draw a butterfly. I know that this isn't drawing, but I know you guys can do it. So what I usually like to start out with is, you'll see that there's three different wings. So I'm gonna start out and draw. Also, you can choose if you wanna make it horizontal or vertical. I'm gonna draw this first wing. So I'm just drawing kind of a curve and then coming down and you can choose, you can decide if you wanna make it straight or I can make it a little bit wiggly. And then I'm gonna draw another one and kind of curve it around. So this is the bigger one. So this is the front facing one that's in front of us. So you can decide, do you want to have more squigglies or not? So there's that one. I know it looks a little funny so far. And then you're gonna draw the third wing. I guess there are, I, I don't really know butterflies that well. I'm trying to think if they're technically four separate wings or if it's two wings and there's just two parts of the two wings. Let me Google some butterfly Even facts let us for you. Know. I have a feeling it's two wings and parts of it. Okay, but I was gonna say that this back one is a little bit further so we don't see the full uh, perspective of it. So you, it will look a little bit skinnier. So pretend like it's flapping and it's about to come in. So that's that one. So it's gonna be a little bit shorter. So you're basically drawing a bunch of kind of curves. And then the last one, or not the last one, the last part is the body of it. So I'm gonna draw a head. I draw these pretty loose and abstract, so these aren't realistic looking. So if you wanna draw, if you're good at watercolor, and maybe draw a realistic one like that. So we are now going to, I realize I didn't tell you guys the colors that I'm using, but I'm, I'll just, talk about them while I'm using them. I'm gonna be using the Crayola Super Tips like we've been doing, and I'm taking the technique that we learned in the Leaf Letters one, where you guys saw the magic of these pens that you can use a paintbrush and water to blend them all together. So I'm gonna be using the purple. So since she likes purple, I kind of mixed in where I did purple and then the other shades. This is a lighter lavender color and then the two blues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one that I drew. And I am just drawing, I call them blades of grass. So you can either draw them perfectly if you want, or you can try this technique where I'm just letting go at the end. So they don't need to be perfect. And then kind of color them in a little bit more. So according to the internet, yeah, that is the four wing that you're doing this right one? now. The front one, wait, nope, well now, perspective. I'm not sure which is which, but there's the fore wing and the hind wing. I would assume that so there are two wings. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. On each side. So oh, there's so there's four, four wings, yeah. Oh. And I think it looks it looks like depending on what kind of butterfly 
But some butterflies look like they've got, you know, just the, the usual two, the, the two-door coupe style. And then the other ones are like the four-wing, the four-door sedan. <laughs> it's like you're explaining cars over there? Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, fun fact of the day. Four-wing and hindwing? Yes. Okay, so what you guys will notice that I'm doing is I am leaving a little bit of room right here that's just uh, white. So you can decide how further, ooh, that's a really pretty light blue, how much color you do want to add. I'm leaving it a little bit, um, not, or I'm not coloring that part in so you guys can see that it creates a little bit of depth. So it just, ha instead of having one solid flat color, that's why I'm doing that. I'm going to add a little bit more. There's a lot of interesting facts about butterflies. Go for it. I love it. Well, they're like things I can't pronounce. That's okay. No one's judging. Okay, just a second. Because what are butterfly wings made of? Oh. Yeah. So that's where it, it gets like really detailed in big words. They're super thin. Okay, I was 100% wrong. A butterfly has four wings, two on each side. They are no, broken you said that. into. I know, but I thought that maybe there was a smaller butterfly that had just two wings. But they, it, this says they all have four. Okay. Four wings, hind wings. Okay. Oh my goodness! I, that's too much about how they're attached. <laughs> butterfly wings are made up of two chitinous layers. Parentheses membranes. Each wing is covered by thousands upon thousands of colorful scales and hairs. Wow. It's not what I expected them to be made of. Scales and hairs. Yeah. I guess that kind of makes sense when you look at them. They're yeah. They're more see-through. And that's also another cool thing to think about is, yeah, since they are a little bit more trans, some of them are more transparent. That's true. Okay. So... We're done with that. So that is all of the color. Like I said, if you want to add more color, if you don't, you'll notice that I did the back wing just a little bit lighter. So now what I'm going to do my handy dandy paint brush. This is, what is am I using? Size two. Uh, but you can use any paintbrush that you do have. And all I'm doing is I just dipped my paintbrush in the water. You don't want it to be too wet. So just head a little bit damp. And then I am simply, maybe need a little bit more water than that. That was a little bit dried out. So I'm just moving my paint around. Not paint, my marker paint. And so what I like to do is I like to do that. And then I come around here, pick up a little bit of that color. And then you'll see that I have that spot right there that's white. And then what I do is I just have water and I do circular motions to fill it in. And that way it's still lighter, but it blended nicely together. So do this again. So what I did is I just left a little bit, that's just kind of a personal preference thing that I do, so then you can see the difference. I know that sometimes you might think that, depending on the way that the light's hitting, that the, the the part of this, or I guess, no, now we learn that there's four different wings. This wing back here might be darker behind, and this one would be li lighter because of the highlight. We're not going to get technical here, and I just add a, leave a little bit of sliver of color, and that's why I do that, so it looks separated. So I'm just moving some around. It's amazing how much it starts to feel like watercolor once you just kind of wake up the paint. Ooh, it's a pretty purple. It's like a purpley blue. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna kind of wake that part of it up. I'm excited for the letters because it looks really good on the side camera. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do my circular motion. And do that. And then last one. So have fun with it. This is a great one for kids to do. I loved seeing everyone's leaf letters that they did for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, that was fun to see. 
It's such a good project that's so accessible for everyone. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. And I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Even though I realize you're going to be watching this in December. What is December? Uh, Christmas. Christmas! Keenan's birthday. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry because if you guys can see, this is a little bit wet. So we're going to pause. Okay. And then I'll meet you back in five minutes. But you won't know it's five minutes. <laughs> okay, guys, so we let this completely dry. And so the reason why is that we are going to do your lettering on top of it. So if you were to do it right away, it would just completely bleed into it, which actually could look cool. You, you could just have to like redefine the line somehow. Well, I was going to say, if you do that and then you add some glitter in it, <laughs> you guys can see Keenan's face. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the gold glitter. <laughs> that would be a really cool thing, actually. Would, Maybe I'll try it on another cool. one. Okay, but as I say, as I let it dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, you are so beautiful. So a cool thing, that, and the reason why I like doing some different types of shapes, is that you can allow that to be your box. Sometimes we do things in boxes or circles, and so for this one is I'm going to think of this wing as my space. And so I chose to do you are so beautiful to tell Winter that she is beautiful and remind her of that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw you right here and then R so and beautiful is gonna fit, fill in this entire part of this wing. So you can do your own lettering. You can decide how you want to do it. If you wanna do it in all script, maybe I'll mix it up and I'll show you how to do this in a script one. And what I'm using is I'm using my silver gel pen. This is the Uniball one that if you have our fall box came in it. We also have these on our website, I believe, so you can get one there. I love them because you can see how pretty the silver is and it really glides really easily. So you don't have to press very hard. So just be careful a little bit. You don't want to smear it because this one will, it is so wet, even though I just drew that. And so I am going to just darken up the, or thicken up the uh, downstrokes of my letters. So this is folligraphy, what I'm doing. If you haven't watched that and you're wondering what that is, we have a beginner lettering series that you can go over. But what I'm doing is when my hand is going thin on the up, thick on the down, is I'm going to add a thicker line right there. So thick on the down here, thin on the up, thick on the down, so right there, thin on the up, thick on the down. So I'm just making that a little bit thicker. I have a little bit of room in between if you want to fill that in. You totally can. So this part's a little bit thicker here. Would the gold look good inside the silver at all? Like as a would highlight? Just be, yeah, would that just be too much? No, well, it kind of, so you guys can, I don't know if you can see that here, is I did silver first and then it was a little bit too light so I did gold on top of it, but you can see both of them a little bit. I'll do it once it's dry. So it's the same thing, this is kind of wet. I'll do what Keenan was wondering about so we can actually see how it looks but I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, that's a great question. I think it'll look really cool. But I'm gonna do, I switched to my gold one. And if you want to do this in pencil first, you totally can. I'm just gonna freehand it so you guys can see. So I am Can drawing. you push that up just? Yes, I can. Yes. Is that good? So I'm drawing my letters, because beautiful is such a long word, let me draw that higher. I'm having to really squish and make my letters look really tall. You ever seen the movie Bruce Almighty? Yes. Jim Carrey? Yes. Do you know where he said B E A beautiful? Yes. That's how I learned how to spell beautiful. <laughs> I still use it. Yes. I actually have seen that movie. Okay, so. I'm doing that, that actually ended up working out really well, it fit. If you get to the end and it didn't fit, add an exclamation point, add a heart. You can make it work. So I also wanted to show is that, so I extended all of my letters. It was interesting, so you can see the difference, it's super minor, but this one I had, it had a little bit more space around the top and the bottom of the wings. This one I went pretty close. 
So it's cool to see a little bit difference. The other minor thing that I want to teach you guys is, can you see how on this A, just specifically looking at the A's, this part of the A is called the crossbar, is that I drew it lower on here and then I drew it higher on here. It is a minor change of how you can make your letters just a little bit different. So it's neither is right or wrong, I just wanted to point it out because obviously you saw I do them both at different times. But I think that's a cool thing about letters is that you can change one minute thing and it will just look a little bit different. And also I made my E, the, these guys, I made them at the angle of the wing rather than these are straight. So it's kind of cool to see the different ones. And so what I'm doing is I'm just thickening this a little bit more just to bolden it up. And again, with these pens, they really glide, so you don't have to press too hard. Just want to thicken it up a little bit. And then... I'm going to see... So Keenan was saying if gold... Let's see, this is kind of a thin line. Is that what you're thinking, the highlight, or are you thinking the side of it? I'm gonna do both. Inside it, like you, what you're doing. Either one of those. That looks cool! Does it? Yes! Nice. Ooh, it's just like a little more shimmer to it. Yeah. So I did it both. This one I did, I hugged it, and this one I did actually on the thick down parts. I love that. And you can add any more details. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. I just wanna write her name in this spot. I know I didn't do it on this one, but I want to write Winter's name. So let's see. Maybe you can either choose to do it in cursive or so your script lettering. You can also choose to shift your butterfly down and do it above and put a comma and be like Winter. Are so beautiful. I love that. I guess either one works. You're so beautiful, Winter. You're winter, so beautiful, you so Winter. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited for her to get all these. Me too. Also, I love Winter and I love Winter. <laughs> Double bonus. So what I'm doing here is I just want to show you is I'm thickening up the down parts again like I was showing you here for photography. It's because when you said down, I actually, did you see I moved it down? No, sorry. <laughs> Is I am doing that same thing, but I'm going to leave them open. So they just create a little bit of a different look. Maybe you want to try all colored in a little bit. And then if you want to draw a border, you can just to cap it off. But otherwise, great job, guys. Thank you again for being a part of this. If you're just tuning in, this was our Let's Make Art Matter for the lettering community. And if you're in the watercolor community, please do this as well and post this. But this is for our recipient, Winter, who has Down syndrome, and we just want to remind her that she is beautiful because everyone has a place in this world, and we are all here to cheer each other on. So thanks, guys.